Hey everyone, today I'm going to go to church. It's Sunday and I just received confession and um, there are so many graces that you can receive in confession and you feel so amazing afterward after you've just kind of dumped everything on the priest and whose, whose duty is to, you know, listen to your sins and to absolve you of your sins. And I highly recommend that you guys get, conf um, if you can, uh, every once in a while, go to con go, uh, receive confession from your archbishop because his position, his office has so many graces that are so strong and when I, I received confession from him a couple of weeks ago and I felt the most amazing feeling it was almost it didn't kind of it was just kind of like in me and I I don't even know how to explain it and it was kind of something that I was possessed by I just felt this immediate sense of grace and especially in mass it just I felt closer to the Eucharist than I've ever felt before and I highly suggest that you guys receive confession from your Archbishop every once in a while um, also I you know I'm here at the friary here on Guam and we wear veils in mass because I attend the Latin mass and, um, you know, I, it's so beautiful to wear the veil. And some people think that it's, it's um, you know, to wear the veil means that you are going, you're not progressing forward. Some people think that. Some people think you're not moving with the times, that you're just going back to the old way of doing things. And I think that's a very silly way of looking at the veil and looking at the traditions of the, that the church used to once um, have that was that had true meaning to it. You, I'm sure that many people, if they truly found out, if they truly researched or just re found out the reason for wearing the veil, they wouldn't they wouldn't look at it in such disdain. Um, and I, you know, to wear the veil, it's so Catholic. I mean, it's, it's so Catholic that, and I think it's so disappointing. I find it so disappointing when I see nuns without their habits, without their veils. They, it's, it totally helps with vocation. And especially even when girls wear the veil in mass, it, this, you know, this could be the reason why someone could come into church and have more respect for the Eucharist. Because they see the, the, the reverence that one has when they wear the veil. And I just wanted to express that because I think that the veil needs to come back. I think that women need to wear the veil and it shouldn't even be contested. We're seeing our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament and that's why the church had the veil. Not only to imitate our Blessed Mother but to also show Christ who is in the Blessed Sacrament the reverence that he deserves and the honor that he deserves. When you wear a veil, as you as you know, brides wear the veil because they're brides, they're getting married. We're brides of Christ. Even if you're not married, even if you're single, in Mass, when you go to Mass, you are the bride of Christ. You are married to him. And to wear the veil you're, it's kind of like you're giving your heart to him and you're 
making your vows and every time you go to mass you renew your vows especially when you go to the sacrament when you receive the sacrament of reconciliation I have to go in now but I hope that you guys can wear the veil you girls I'm sorry you girls I hope that more girls can wear the veil it's not about making it's not about you know oh I want all this attention toward my head or I want to show people you know I want to rub it in their face it's totally not about that and for those who think that it is about that I think that you need to take the focus off of yourself and thinking that people always want to uh, hurt you or make you feel lower than you are you need to take your fo the focus off of yourself and focus on Jesus Christ and the Blessed Sacrament. And once you do that, you'll realize that wearing the veil and having more reverence toward our Lord and the Blessed Sacrament is completely out of love for Him and completely out of desire for heaven and for him in the blessed sacrament and he's our king and we love our king and what do what do servants do to kings we bow to him we, we show them show our king reverence and he is the king of kings he's the ultimate king he's the only king and uh we need to start acting like it and showing people that he is our king and once we do that whether it's wearing the veil, whether it's whether it's genuflecting before him, before the tabernacle when you pass by, before you exit the church, you know all these things matter. All these things really do matter. They're the foundation. They're the fundamental disciplines that the church knew we needed because when people look and they see how we respect Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. They will respect him. They'll, they will respect him in the Blessed Sacrament when they see that. So I hope you guys have a, a beautiful Sunday and you are inspired to truly uh, show the true reverence, the due reverence to our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament at Mass. God bless. Bye.